guys so we just made it to today's location and this location it will be the best place you've probably ever seen the channel like we've done a lot of incredible places but right now we're making a way to a property which is this surreal it's really surreal only looking at this gate man it's incredible look at the whole detail of just the gate the entrance Imagine the inside. Oh, and then the area we are in, like, yeah. we are literally the Douro River. The picturesque mountains. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous view. It's like from a movie. Literally from a movie. It's... Wow. So this would have been the main gate of this property. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's huge. It's so, so big. Come take a look. Oh wow. You see the shield right on top? Then he told me that that is only if this place was owned by royals. It's the shield, the family shield from the royal family. And what's the Portuguese word for it? Brazão. It's like only uh, royal families like kings have that thing on houses. So this is literally a royal, royal family. It's Brazão. 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 Yeah, Brazão, yeah. Okay, time to enter this unique building. Welcome back everyone. At the moment I'm standing one of the most incredible places I've ever seen. This place has an incredible history. It dates back from more than 300 years ago. And back then, it was owned by a royal family, a king. The origin of him is uncertain and unknown. After that, this place was used by the military. And eventually, after the military went away, it was a family which was living in this incredible millionaire's mansion. I was standing in Portugal. So after the family left, they turned this place in a hotel. But due to lack of money eventually, and too high ambitions, the place just closed down. We are very lucky that we are able to see this place today. So what they are wanting to do in a few months, they are going to restore this place. We thought, with the city council and were able to get permission to capture this incredible mansion. You are going to be so amazed and I'm really excited to show it to you. So enjoy watching this video. Okay, so let's start off in the main hallway where the family would walk in every day and eventually also customers and guests of the hotel and take a look just all the splendid furniture and architecture you're gonna see you're going to be amazed right behind it on the wall the typical Portuguese tiles with a beautiful ornamental design the mirror just with a unique pattern all the flowers I really like the couch as well Take a look at this chair right over here. With the pillows, it's actually so neat. So like I said, we are so lucky to capture this place today. In a few months, I'm really happy to announce that this place will be livable again. But right now, what you're seeing is the situation of eight years of vacancy and abandonment. Yes, that's right. Eight years ago, this place was closed. And in a few months, it's finally reopened to the public again. And take a look over here. This is where I came walking down the stairs. Two unique lamps on the wall. A 
it's just gorgeous. Okay, so I haven't checked out these rooms yet. They're attached to the main entrance. I think this was a little office part. Over here, the bookshelf. A lamp on top. And guys, if you're thinking that this place is properly cleaned and is dust free, it totally isn't. You can even see animal balls. Take a look at this layer of dust. It hasn't been touched for eight years. Everything you see. I like the mirror on the wall. Again, a typical Portuguese wooden sofa. With the cozy cushions on top. Oh, no way. Okay, you're going to be amazed with seeing this. It's going to be something typical Portuguese. Yes, that's right, there's a huge wine cellar. Wow. Take a look how many barrels. And this was not port wine, no. This was the traditional Douro wine. Because that's the province where we are in currently. There's even more barrels. There's a billiard table in the middle. Incredible. Over here there's actually some board wines in the shelves. I guess they used to serve them out to the hotel guests when it was still active. Where is the vault? And if you thought one vault would have been enough for the royal families who lived there, they weren't. There was another vault. <laughs> Maybe we are going to find even more vaults. Oh, by the way, not just the cobwebs here. You can definitely tell that this place has been abandoned for several years. Let's take a look behind all those wine barrels. There's even more wines. Okay, so we have checked out the left side next to the main entrance. Right now we're checking out the right side. Wow, take a look at that giant ship there. So I guess when it was still a millionaire's family mansion owned by a royal family, this was just a room to relax during the day. There's a lot of couches. Here, a fireplace. Still with the old tools and equipment. And take a look at the model ship. For a collector, this piece must be a dream. A game of checkers here on the table. Oh, I like that little cabinet. And then the lamp. It's typical Portuguese style again. Oh, this is interesting. So when this place was a hotel, this would have been the hotel reception. Take a look. People came in, somebody was just working here. Or oh, no, wait, I'm wrong. This was not the reception. 
but this was the bar in the room I filmed previously that was just cafeteria or bar part it's even saying here cocktail do dia that means cocktail of the day sour silvestre and the people would have their drinks all in here so it would have been just a lounge a bar lounge and then right over here on the main floor they had the main dinner room take a look at this beauty the giant table in the middle with the antique chairs the chandelier a fireplace with a very unique painting I'm really speechless and I'm also so happy that I can share this beauty of a property with you. What a shame it has already been abandoned for eight years. But I'm so happy that they are actually restoring it. They should have done it with so many more properties that are just left neglected and I have visited. But this is one of them. I'm just very happy. They are making something out of it again. Curtains are also so unique. And then, like I said, the main dining hall. And just take a look at these chairs. Wow. They're all up Hall Street. Those are very unique pieces of chairs. And then, this would have been the dining area for the hotel guests. All the tables still made up. I like the blades hanging on the wall. And just all the beautiful porcelain blades. It's so Portuguese. These ones are even shaped. I like the woman. Take a look. These pillars. They're both holding a vase with plants which haven't been watered for a long time. Wow. I would love to have breakfast there if this was my hotel. So lovely. Over here also a very nice little collection of china. And I don't have to look at the back of it. I'm 100% sure that this is Portuguese made China. So just made my way in one level down. And this was the complete kitchen. Imagine how everything changed in this kitchen. What you see now are the remnants of a hotel kitchen. What at once used to be a kitchen where servants were working. For there royal buses a lot of water damage here has been leaking here kitchen tools and everything are still pre present This was where the servants just spent their breaks when they didn't have to serve out any dishes. Oh wow, just everything in this kitchen is left behind. All the last dishes. They were never finished. 
they just decided from the one day to the other one the bank came to this place and the owners which wanted to turn a place into a hotel they didn't have sufficient enough amounts of money for the investment they made at the bank so the bank refused them to continue and they were forced to close this place down okay so let's walk up under this unique opening and we are entering the main stair hall oh my gosh this is so unique I've never seen something like this I can't even get it in the shop properly take a look at this okay so we just made it to the upstairs again to show you the unique staircase I can't stop looking at it and talking about it let's just walk down the corridor and see what we can find Danny over there as well this is a banger, man. What an unbelievable place. Yeah. I haven't checked him out yet. Okay, well, the last room is gonna be the king's room. So, please, be prepared, guys. Right here. This was another bathroom. Probably from one the sons of the king oh my gosh take a look at this bed unbelievable the curtains as well and the little chandelier on top wow this vanity you can tell it's dated from a very long time ago very little one as well well I'm still trying to imagine how this place was when it was owned by the royal family you can tell that now when it got abandoned eight years ago those are actually hotel rooms just to hold guests unbelievable and you can tell that it was renovated when they wanted to make a hotel out of it because the bathroom looks relatively modern. Okay, so right on the opposite side, there is another bathroom. And this one is quite ordinary, com ordinary compared to the other bathroom we saw. The same, similar hotel setup here on the table. And just the bathroom, nothing really special. Further walking down the corridor. And yet we have a room with number two. This was another hotel room. Wow, the curtains. The bed. Even the chandelier. Yeah. This is gorgeous. I mean, take a look at the wooden ornaments. It's so unique. So entering the next room. And this bedroom it looks a lot more spacious than the other one. I don't know why. But again, like I just love how all the beds have different design and style, but they are all just Portuguese architecture. as well oh my can already capture a beauty of a bed unbelievable 
Those beds were so unique back in the days. Only wealthy people with a good style for antiques and a lot of money could design a bed like this for them. It's all just hand carved work. And then this is the room Danny was talking about. The Royal King's room. Take a look at this. Whoa. The rats and everything. The curtains. This looks so extremely royal. Imagine waking up in this bedroom in the morning. Oh my gosh. This is truly unbelievable. Oh my. Okay, so we made our way upstairs. This was the main room of the upstairs. Take a look. This looks so incredibly royal. The sofas, the chairs, the tiles on the sides, the marvelous chandeliers on the ceiling. This is just unreal. Right next to it, there's another room. Nice fireplace. I like these chairs as well. And take a look, this is actually the property painted. And it looks like this from the outside. It's the facade and the gate. another room just a small room I guess I just used to read here or do something else just relax right over there in the corner there's also a stove so continuing to another room and this was not just a room no this was their own private chapel Take a look at the ceiling of this. This is one of the most incredible architectural things I've ever seen. What an ornamental design. Wow. Just a symmetry of everything. You can tell this is dated from centuries and centuries ago. You would never see something like this being designed anymore nowadays. Talking about ceiling, this was the chapel itself. Wow, this is exquisitely designed. What a splendid chapel! Unbelievable. So, we make our way one level up, and I think it's the final floor, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh wow, these rooms are all so gorgeous, you can already see some really neat chairs. Wow, take a look at this room. I guess those were even more hotel bedrooms. All a different number on them, 11. And just all the unique beds. And what's cool about this hotel is normally you have like a hotel where all the beds are like exactly similar from each other. But in this hotel, all the beds are different.
Another bedroom. I like these two beds. This would just have been another room. Beds are still made up. Please notice how dirty they all are. There's even droppings of an animal hair and some pee. On the first side, all these rooms, they look properly cleaned. But I can assure you they are not. And it's very smelly as well inside of the complete property. And dusty. So over here we can actually get an overview of the complete property. In total, it's 35,935 hectometers. Square hectometers. Take a look. I think this is one of the biggest properties I've ever seen. This is only the building in all of the vicinity. And this area, and all belong to it. Okay, so the mayor of the town is taking us around the whole area right now, which is 35,000 square hectometers. I really don't know how many miles, square miles those are, but please just Google it guys and you will know that it's just massive. Ah, this was an outside restaurant. I think this is one of the most amazing experiences I had. I mean, normally we have to trespass because we can't get permission. But this time we got permission and the town mayor is just showing us everything. And take a look where we are. The River Duro, all the unique mountains, the whole vicinity like, this place is embedded between the mountains. And of course, big shout out to Danny because he was the person who arranged all of this. No problems, man. I'm so glad that we can see this. It's crazy. Imagine we are one of the last ones, probably the yeah, last, last ones to see ones it. To see it yeah. He's saying that you have to come here like in two months because all this is going to be green and it's going to be beautiful. With so grapes. Yeah, this is going to be like a beautiful scenery. Complete wine farm. Unbelievable. <laughs> like in two months, this is going to be full of grapes and like those Ch cherries. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cherries and wine yeah. grapes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see? Okay. This is the whole. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. You saw it. Thirty-five thousand square hectometers. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Wow, following the pot. Such a unique landscape. You don't see this. You literally don't see this every day. Look, complete valley here. Unreal. Everything you see here, it's the land of this mansion. It's complete property. Everything. Like, how can you own this all for yourself? It's somehow it's also very greedy, don't you think? Yeah. It's so greedy to have so much land because you don't need it. No, but this, the land is still worth like uh, every year there's grapes, there's wine. Yeah, no, but imagine back in the days. It was, it was only from the royal family. Over here, there's all different outside buildings. Was this for the servants, Danny? No, it's more of a room. But they're abandoned too. Yeah, 
Wow. Take a look at this balcony here. Imagine waking up with this view. That would be iconic. Ready. Can't believe my eyes. This is so amazing. Danny is also really happy. He gets really a chance happy. to see this. Okay, so you can barely see it anymore, but if you take a very close look right now, you can see an age popping up in all the grass, the weeds, and the vegetation. And this, yeah, this was the helipad. One of them, there are multiple around the whole property. Imagine they would just have a heli here. And the man told us they had three helis in total. Over here, a part of the pavement, this path has collapsed. So you can definitely tell the DK. So when they are restoring this place, we'll probably in one year from now it will be open and all the houses we walk next to in the area they're all going to be apartments man i would love to have an apartment there for holidays the palm trees it's gorgeous so danny imagine that we just covered such a tiny part only of the whole area like yeah just 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 a tiny this is like this was nothing it was like 36 this? acres yeah j just this 36 acres it's huge oh wow it's land and lands in this is like a mountain so it's everything going up it's just wine and wine and wine incredible yeah it really is the fountain air is also so magical this is, this is so cool man yeah. so cool this was just an amazing experience. Yeah. We're at the swimming pool. So this was the outside of the property. You also saw in the painting inside. The cross is where the chapel is, I filmed. So guys, that's where I want to end one of the most incredible mansions I've ever seen in my whole exploring life. This was just surreal. I mean, you can tell. We've said multiple times when we started, the building looked royal from the inside, but it were just rich families living there. We didn't have much knowledge, but this place was a legit royal family's mansion. Unbelievable. Guys, I have nothing left to say. I just truly hope that you enjoy this place as much as I did. If you did so, you know the drill. And especially for this place, please just help to get it boosted in YouTube's algorithm and share this place to make people aware of what properties are left abandoned sometimes. Luckily, one year from now, people will be sleeping in this hotel. In the winter season, for 70 to 100 euros approximately a person. But the summer season, it can be up to three, 400 euros per person. Of course, you will feel like a king when you wake up in this property, have this view, and just have the royal interior. Anyways, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, leave a nice comment down below, 
Also, if you don't want to miss out on our future episodes, make sure to hit the bell notification button as well. And after all, I really want to thank you for watching to one of the incredible places I ever did. Thank you so much guys, stay safe, take a lot of care, much love to you and we will see you on the next adventure. Peace out.